Hey guys, Sethley here back with another Apex Legends video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going over the official Apex Legends mobile patch notes that were just released earlier today. So I'm gonna go over them right now. This is really exciting. But not only did they release the patch notes, they also released a gameplay trailer for mobile. So I'll show some clips of that on screen right now. Starting off, we have the new legend Fade and I'll show him on screen right now as well for you guys. He looks very, very cool. I like his hair a lot but I'll also show they did give us a bit of a lore background on him, so I'll show it on screen right now. His name is Ignacio Huamani. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his last name, but that is his name. Now let's get on to his abilities. So the passive is called Slipstream. Fade gains a short movement speed boost at the end of his slide, which is very cool. Anything movement abilities I'm excited about. But now onto the tactical flashback. Fade suit rips him backwards through another dimension, phasing him to his previous location, which is definitely going to be good to get away from bad situations. But now onto his ultimate phase chamber. Fade throws an activator core from his suit. The resulting explosion phases everyone within the radius for a few seconds, making them unable to deal or receive damage. Now, this is pretty interesting. I'm not really sure how this will play into the game, but I guess we will see tomorrow. Now onto the game modes. So they say advanced training level. I'll show it on screen right now. In the advanced training level, you can practice advanced techniques and weapon handling skills in a free environment practice makes perfect so it's kind of like firing range next on to the weekly challenges they say practice and hone your skills for rewards in weekly challenges missions and objectives will rotate weekly complete these challenges to earn juicy rewards now it says for some reason it says new arena map overflow but i'll show it on screen right now this is the arena map we've had in arenas for a while but they say it is a new map but i guess that's cool anyway now on to the new feature team fill nobody likes a quitter but now now that's not such a big deal. Auto team fill is a new feature that will bring players into active games if another player leaves prematurely. And this is only active in team deathmatch. That would be pretty interesting if it were active in battle royale, but this is only active in team deathmatch. And I'm going to show on screen right now. They didn't mention it in the patch notes, but they did show it off in the trailer, the new modes that are coming with mobile, which obviously includes team deathmatch and then 3v3. And then they have battle royale and then quick battle royale which is pretty cool i'm excited to see what that is all about now we have the shop updates i'll show on screen right now what the seasonal store will look like in mobile there are also a bunch of details on how this shop update works and how you can get these rewards so i'll show that on screen right now but now onto the co-op club missions and club store. This brand new feature allows squads to pick challenges they want to achieve together to unlock rewards in the brand new club store. Now, I think that is a really cool feature. Next, we have the emojis. A brand new emote system is coming to Apex Legends Mobile, allowing you to conveniently communicate with a friend or foe alike. I'll show those emotes on screen right now. Next, we have the weapons and attachments and gear. They say the new weapon 3030 marks and rifle is in mobile, which I'm kind of confused. I think that's the 3030 repeater next we have the new scope the 4x to 10x thermal imaging optic we have the new gear heat shields and replicators will now drop in random locations within the ring next we have the new legend perk system so new visual upgrades to the system they added legend rewards to the perk system earn rewards by completing legend specific objectives they added a perk planning feature to plot your next move ahead of time as well as they added a perk recommendation feature to help you get straight into the action now i don't really know what this perk system is i'm still kind of confused and fuzzy on it so we'll definitely have to check that out tomorrow next we have some weapon changes the triple take they changed the ammo type to energy the weapon type was changed to marksman rifle and you can now equip energy mags and sniper stocks next we have the g7 scout and they just changed the weapon type to marksman rifle next we have the volt smg the damage was increased from 15 to 17 and the mag size was increased to 35 the fully kitted weapons they removed the hemlock devotion lmg and mozambique and they added the flatline l star and 3030 to the fully kitted weapons lastly we have the supply drops they removed the peacekeeper and added the volt smg lastly we have the apex legends mobile in belgium unfortunately we won't be publishing apex mobile in belgium due to the local regulatory situation around paid random rewards so that's pretty interesting that they literally are completely not releasing apex mobile in belgium which is kind of interesting make sure to let me know what you guys think about that but lastly we have the bug fixes and improvements and i'll show those on screen right now for you guys but that's all we have for the mobile patch notes if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to hit that like button it really does help me out a ton and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on the notification bell it's the best way to support me but it's been your boy Seth Lee, and i'm out